Hi Teach Me Wirral, uh, my name's Tom Warrender and I run an organisation uh, in the West Midlands called Classroom Medics. I'm really sorry I can't be with you this evening. Um, basically all my team are out on the road visiting other schools and my mother was actually taken ill last night and is going to have minor surgery today. Um, so I've actually got to stay in Wolverhampton so I can go and visit her later on. So I'm really sorry I can't be with you. But what I thought I would do is record a really short video to tell you a little bit about my journey around the NHS and some of the resources that I've created uh, for your schools, for yourselves and for your pupils to use to find out a lot more about the careers that are available in the NHS. Now the reason for doing this is that when I was at school I wanted to be a doctor, I got good, good grades at GCSE, um, but then at A levels I didn't do too well. Um, I got a C, a D and an E in biology, chemistry, physics. So I was never going to be a doctor with those grades and I wanted to find something else that interested me and I found physiology and physiology is all about how the body works and it's ama an amazing kind of career and subject and it has lots of opportunity um, and luckily I actually fell into teaching um, at university, teaching nurses physiology um, and could see all these amazing other careers in the NHS um, that don't require grades A to A star, okay, that's an amazing fact, okay, but there are about 40 or so different careers in the NHS that don't require grades A to C, A to A to A star, sorry. If your students can get grades A to C in maths, English and, um, and science, they can access one of these 40 careers, okay? And these careers are in a bracket called healthcare science, okay? Healthcare science, it's about 40 of these careers and the really important thing about these careers is that they do about 80% of all the diagnostic tests in a hospital. Okay, 80% of diagnostic tests are carried out by careers that just require grades A to C at GCSE in maths, English, and science. How amazing is that? Okay, and I'm sure you didn't know that, and I'm sure your students don't know that. So this journey I've been on around the NHS was to meet all of these kind of healthcare scientists and it's still an ongoing journey. And I'm creating videos, blogs and resources for you to use in your lessons and for your students to access to find out a little bit more. So here are a couple of little clips of these videos. Um, this first one is when I went to see a respiratory physiologist and I went to see these guys and I had a bronchoscopy and you can see part of this procedure here. Um, these are my vocal cords. I'm sorry if you just had something to eat. Um, it looks a bit gross. Um, but they're my vocal cords from this procedure. There's a whole video on my bronchoscopy I had done. Um, I've met other people like these guys. These are immuno... Um, oh, I've got the name now. These guys are immunogeneticists. And these guys are involved with organ transplants. So if you watch EastEnders, there's a blog coming from us very soon on science that actually took took place in EastEnders. That's an amazing another fact, okay? Science in EastEnders. These guys are the guys that check if a donor can, can donate an organ to a recipient, okay? They check if there's a, a match between the two people. And they do that on a Petri dish. So these are just some of the careers that we look at um, in these videos. There's also an app we've created for you to download for free. If you've got an iPhone or um, an Android phone, just look for Classroom Medics on the app stores. And this is like a quick quiz where you can press um, if you like biology, chemistry, physics, if you like blood, if you like surgery, and it picks you out a different career in healthcare science and tells you all about what you can do in these careers and how to get there. Um, so all these videos are on our YouTube channel and they're always growing, so it's Classroom Medics TV on YouTube, that's what you need to look for, and you can also look at the website, but you can just look for Classroom Medics, you'll find that somewhere. Um, and all these resources are there for you to use for free. And if you have any suggestions for resources and videos, please just send me an email or a comment and we will get back to you with a resource just for you. Okay, thank you very much for your time. And again, apologies I couldn't be with you today. Um, I think I've been talking about four minutes, so I hope you've managed to watch all this video, um, and I'll speak to you all very soon. Please check out the website, check out YouTube. We're on Twitter as well, at Classroom Medics. Give us a tweet if you like the video and some of the resources, and I'll speak to you very soon. Thanks, bye-bye.